How to use accounting, accounting software 2023. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. If you're running a small business, keeping track of your financials is essential for your success. Accounting is a free and open source accounting software that can help you manage your financials more efficiently. With its user-friendly interface, accounting allows you to track your expenses, manage invoices, and generate reports all in one place. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the process of using accounting from setting up your account to creating your first invoice. Whether you're new to accounting or an experienced business owner, this tutorial will get you the most out of accounting. So let's get started. Now the first step is going to accounting.com over here. This is what you would be able to see. Now what we're going to do first is either you're going to log in if you have an account or you're going to sign up if you don't have an account yet and which is what we're going to do. We're going to click on get started. After that, we're going to be redirected to this page and we have two options which is the cloud version of accounting and we also have a downloaded version of accounting on our server. We're going to go with the cloud version because this is the recommended and we can start using accounting on our servers instantly. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to click on start. Now over here, if you have an account, you're simply going to enter your email and then your password. But if you don't, uh, like myself, we're going to click on create new account over here and we would be redirected to the sign up page of accounting. Now we're going to enter our name, email, and password over here. After entering the information required, as you can see, our account was created and now we're going to need to activate our account by checking the mail of our email. As you can see here, this is our verification email that we have received from accounting. We're simply going to click on confirm email address. After clicking that, we would be redirected back to accounting and this time we're going to log in into our account. And after logging in, we're then going to be redirected to this section. This is where we will be creating our company. We're going to enter our company name, our language over here. We could choose from all of these options over here. Your business currency, you could choose any currency that you want, depending on the location of your company and our country over here. After filling in the information required, we're going to click on create the company and we're going to wait for it to finish creating our company for us. And after that, we're then going to enter information like our tax number, financial year start over here, address, our logo over here. You could upload any logo and your country over here. For now, we're going to click on skip this step. And in this section, we're going to ask what does our company do? We could choose from all of these different options. We have agriculture, arts and design, constructions, development and programming. Add many more options over here. We're going to go with development and programming for the meantime. We can also choose our role in our company. We could have accountant, CEO, SCFO, COO, CTO, developer or designer, director or administrator, human resources, other, owner, founder, and sales marketing. For now, we're going to go with accountant. And over here, it's going to also ask us how long we've been in the business. You could choose the information that applies to you. We're going to go with this one for now. How many teams do we have? We could go with five to nine. What do we use to build our customers? We have these options over here. Uh, we could have pen and paper, spreadsheets. I don't use anything and other accounting software. We could choose any of this option. Maybe we're going to go with I don't use anything. Over here in this section, it would ask us what we would like to do with accounting. We could choose any of these options. We could manage our inventory, organize our expenses, pay our employees, send and track invoices, track your bills and track and tax. We're going to go with organize our expenses just like that and click on save. And after that, it's going to ask us apps that we would like to try install into our accounting. You could choose any of this option if you want, but for now, we're not going to choose additional apps we're going to go with the automatically added apps over here click on install selected apps and after all of those set up we are now able to access our accounting software over here we can now access our accounting dashboard over here by clicking on dashboard on the left side we would be able to see all of this information that we have we have receivables over here 
we could expand our receivable by clicking on new report we could also do the same thing for payables over here you would be able to see the total unpaid invoices the opens the overdue the total unpaid bills the open and the overdue also as you can see here you could click this and you could also choose the 1 to 30 day overview 30 to 60 days overview 60 to 90 days overview or the less than 90 days overview option over here you could also see the cash flow of your business you could see the incoming the outgoing and the profit that you have you could also see it here on the right side in value form you could also see your profit and losses you have the income and expenses over here you could see your expense category you could see your accounting balance and you could connect your account also to see your information over here you could delete sections of your dashboard by clicking this you could click on edit and you would be able to edit this section over here the widget you could change the name the type over here the different types are receivable payouts cash flows Profit and loss, expense by category, account balance, and currencies. We could edit the width over here. You could change the sizes over here. And the sort over here. If you don't like to see a specific widget, for example, the payables, you want to delete this. You could click on the three dots and click on delete. Just like that. For you, you can simply edit your dashboard depending on how you would like to see your dashboard. Whatever makes it more efficient for you, you could edit it out. You could also create a new dashboard by clicking this create dashboard over here and you could manage multiple dashboard by clicking on manage dashboard over here on the left side you can see the different items we have items sales purchases banking and reports over here under items this is where you will be able to see products or services that we have we could use items in creating invoices and bills to have price tax and other fields populated you could add items by clicking this option over here and over here you could either have product or service over here you're going to enter the name or your name over here you could add the category you could have general or you could add new category by clicking this you would be able to add a name over here once again a color apparent category in this section just like that you can have description about what type of service you did for example editing a video just like that and over here your billing you could see your sale information purchase information the sale price purchase price and tax in this section you would be able to use your items in your invoicing like what we read earlier over here you could use it on your invoice and bills so that it is much more faster to manage your invoices and bills you could automatically have it inputted instead of manually adding the information once again you could import items into your existing files over here you could also click on inventory wherein you can manage your stock variance transfer orders adjustment and warehouse now under sales you could see your invoices in this section you could add an invoice over here by clicking on new invoice you would be able to add a title a subheading a logo for your invoice a customer by clicking this you would be able to add a customer over here you could enter their name email phone number tax number and currency you could also add their address and other information over here you could also set our invoice date, invoice number, invoice due date, order number over here. You could add your item by clicking this, by typing the item name, or if you already have a saved item like what we showed you earlier in the item section, it would appear here so that it would be much faster for you to create an invoice. And you would be able to see your subtotal and add discount and total over here. You could also add notes, have advanced settings over here like footer, category, and another attachment over here. After setting this up, you can simply click on send to and it will automatically send to the customer that you have selected. You could also manage your customers by clicking on customers over here on the left side. You could add new customers, you could add, you could import customers, and you could also CRM over here. There's also a purchase section over here where you can manage your bills and vendors. As you can see here, you could add new bills, import bills, check out your receipts, add debit notes, purchase orders over here. To add new bill, you can simply click this and we would be able to see how we could add a bill. And it's very similar to invoices. We have the vendor, the bill dates, and all of this information that we could add. It's basically very similar. Under banking, you could check out your accounts, transactions, transfers, and reconciliations. 
as you can see here right now we haven't added a bank yet but you could click on new accounts over here and you would be able to add an account into your accounting over here you could add a bank or a credit card over here depends on what you would like to add to your accounting or depending on what type of account you would like to track you also click on reports over here in this section you would be able to see like a general report of your expense summary over here income and versus expense income summary accounting section over here like profit and loss tax summary you could check out any information you can also click on the pin your report over here by clicking this you would be able to pin the reports as you can see here it's going to appear on this section you could also add a new report by clicking this new report option on the top right and in this section you're going to enter your name the type of report we have over here expense summary income summary income versus expense profit loss and tax summary over here then you could add the description you could also see preferences over here and then you could click on save over here if you want to add apps to your accounting you could click on apps in this section you would be able to see all different apps that is available for accounting as you can see we have double entry inventory custom fields and estimates over here some of the apps are paid like from six dollars four dollars and five dollars over here some are free though so you would be able to freely use this over here on the leftmost side we can see notification search if you are having trouble looking for a specific feature there's also new option over here basically a faster way to add invoices income customer bill expenses and vendor and transfer like a direct way there's also settings over here you could edit settings for company localization invoices default email templates schedule categories currency taxes offline payment paypal standard and two-factor authentication for a better security you can also click on help if you need some help for accounting over here you can see here this is their help center and that's basically the basics of accounting that's how you can use accounting you could also see your profile over here the different users the roles and you could log out on this section and that's basically it guys that's how you can use accounting uh, for beginners and hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching